I understand, but... What's going on? This gentleman says that I'm not permitted to dine here. No, you don't understand. He's playing tonight. He's the main event. I'm Come sorry, on. but it is the policy of the restaurants. Everything all right? Uh, no, it's not all right. This guy's saying Dr. Shirley can't eat here. Oh, well, I apologize, but these are long-standing traditions, club rules. I'm sure you understand. No, I do not understand. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Are you telling me the bozos in his band and all these people that came here to see him play, they can eat here? But the star of the show, the, the parking spot of honor, he can't? I'm afraid not. Well, he's got to eat. I mean, he's got to have dinner. OK, well, I, I'll tell you what. Why don't we bring something to his dressing room, huh? John Schumann, man, you? No. I'm not eating in that storage room. OK, uh, well, if you prefer, there's a very popular establishment right down the road, the Orange Bird. They'd be happy to feed you. Dak. Just one second, please. Come on, maybe the other place is better anyway. I mean, the dinner rolls here are like rocks. Let's just go over and go over and come back. It's the last show. It's the bottom of the ninth. Let's just get it over with and we can go home, get away from these pricks. Huh? Ah, there you go. The fish is wonderful tonight. Either I eat in this room, or I'm not performing tonight. May I have a word with you? Mr. Villanueva, you have to talk sense to Mr. Shirley. Please make him understand. We're not insulting him personally. This is just the way things are done down here. Yeah, well, he's not from down here. Yeah, just, just ask him to be reasonable. I got 400 guests in there expecting to be entertained tonight. And Dr. Shirley expects to eat tonight. Why can't you just make an exception this one time? Let me tell you a story. <clears throat> you ever hear of the Boston Celtics basketball club? Yeah. Yeah. Those boys came through here a couple years ago on a barnstorming tour. And seeing as they was the world champions of the league and all, we were tickled to have them here. We rolled out the welcome wagon. So do you know what table their big coon ate at that night? No. I don't either. But it wasn't one of ours. Now let's cut the bullshit. Tell me what's going to take, huh? Say, uh, $100, you get your boy to play? You think you could buy me? With all due respect, sir, you wouldn't be in a job like this if you couldn't be bought. <laughs> Stop, Tony. It's all right. I'll play if you want me to. Let's get the fuck out of here. What do you mean, let's get out of here? Where the hell do you think you're going? Don, don't do this. Now, you signed a contract. Now, I know you're the kind of man who honors a contract. Connie, Bill, everything's going to be fine. It's all right. You got a show to do, mister. You turn yourself around right now, goddammit. Right now. This is why you people don't work down here, because you're unreliable. You hear me? I shipped that goddamn Steinway in from Atlanta for you. 